everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with Stock Swish and I wanted to review Lulu. Why? Because Lulu actually, oh gosh, I can't even believe I'm saying this, but one of the best gaps this week was a bullish gap. It's crazy, but not so crazy if you look at the market. Let's just look at, ay, 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 ay. Look at that move in the market today. Wow, I said 111 for the dream time. We would have gotten to 111 if the market wouldn't have closed at four. <laughs> this is, oh gosh, what a great call I made at the market. Anyway, let's go back to the Lulu. The point I was trying to make was Lulu was an incredible gap. It happened a couple of days ago, 3.30. A lot of people think that I don't go long. I, I, I don't go long that often. All right, I'll just be honest with you. And the reason I don't is because of the fact that I prefer to short because panic action, selling action comes in very quickly in stocks. But in the last year or so, I'd say maybe a year and a half, I've been looking more at bullish things, partly because of the market, because I've been calling the market bullish, and also partly because of the fact that people do have a tendency to want to go long more than short. I still will always err on the short side. But being out there in the public eye now, as I'm going to be, I know that people do prefer to go long. They understand longs more. And the funny thing is, because I'm so good at calling the shorts, and I'm so good at seeing weakness in stocks, guess what? I can, I can easily see when something's really a good long. Now, Lulu actually had a gap up. This was, like I said, on March 30th from the earnings. I really felt very strongly it would gap up. And and I wish I would have done an option in it. We talked about it in the room and I said, I said, do something low, close to the number, because I said 63 would be safe. I didn't do this option trade, but if I had, it was a huge move. If I'd bought the option, it was like, it was like 1100 something bucks for 10 contracts. It would have been like $1,100 for 10 contracts, which was a thousand shares. And if I had done it, which I didn't, I didn't because I'm kind of taking a break to options until earnings season in second quarter in the next two weeks. But this actually, that would have made me like $5,400 or more with the time value. But I didn't do it. So some people in the room did do it. And you could have bought Lulu on the live day as a day trade. But I wanted to point this out tonight because look, look at this. Look at this here. This held the gap on the day of the earnings. Dropped, broke, fell, rallied on the second day. This is buying that came into the tail. Gap down today with the market. Had a huge move over the high of the previous day and the day of the gap with the market. 69. Dream target on the day of the earnings was 70. It didn't get there, but it will. So, this is just, you know, this is really strong now. Very, very strong. Lulu will make a brand new all-time high this year, over 82-ish. It's not that far away. Long-term trade in Lulu, take it over the high, 85. 85 is a real solid number I see in Lulu, Lulu. So really nice bullish move in Lulu. And the reason I'm doing the video tonight is to tell you that you can make money going long as much as you can going short. I'm just an impatient person, so I prefer to short because I like to be in trades in and out quickly. I'm trying to be more in balance with myself to try to be more patient. But I gotta tell you, I probably will always err to the downside. However, most of the majority of the people that are in the market, whether they're banks or hedge funds or regular traders or long-term investors are long. There are more people that are long than short the market. I have an edge because I know how to short when a lot of people have no clue how to short. But if you learn how to short, guess what? You will learn then actually what is a good long. This may not make sense to you, but if you think about it common sense wise, if you get good at looking at what weakness looks like, it will tell you then when you look at something that's really not weak, and then it will tell you whether or not it's really strong. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's almost like the reverse of the opposite. So Lulu was a beautiful gap. And I remember going over this in the room, it was a bullish gap, and I said, I bet you traders are gonna try to short this today. Let's listen. I said, I bet you traders are gonna short this today because it was a huge gap up. And I bet you traders are going to try to short this for a pull-in or a novice gap. And I said, it's not going to work. It's not going to go anywhere. This bar is going to hold. Hold the low. It came in, held, rallied. Here was the entry. 
And so do you see here, this really, 1030, 1045 was the entry long on Lulu was the best entry it had of the day. But I said this bar would hold like a brick, like a brick and stone, and that's what it did. But if you don't understand my Golden Gap 26 point method, you, you th might think that this is gonna break the low and fall and fill the gap, but it didn't. It didn't, and not only did it not, it's not going to. This is real, people. This is huge buying that came into the stock on the day of the earnings on Lulu, followed through the next day and the next day, and will carry through over 70 and make a new high this year. I don't know when, but it's gonna do it. It's setting up to do it. So a beautiful bullish gap in Lulu. If you're interested in learning how to trade bullish gaps from me, I can teach you how. I gotta be honest with you, they're not the same as shorts. You can't flip the points exactly. Going long is different than shorting. Some people think it's just the opposite or whatever, but it's not. And it's taken me a long, long time to figure that out, okay? So when I call a long, it's very, very good. It's a quality gap. That's the only time I ever go long, but I do still prefer to short. Most of the world, though, prefers to go long, and you gotta know when the good, good longs are. Some people would be afraid to go long Lulu for the reason I told you here of the gap, but it actually was amazing. If you look at this, low in the day was 65.30 and high in the day was 68.45. That's an incredible move. $3 for the stop. So have a great night, everyone. If you would like to do the Golden Gap course bullish, I don't do this class that often, but I am doing it next week. Wednesday, April 6th. Thursday, April 7th. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, if you would like to sign up, the deadline to sign up is April 5th. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you want to sign up. This is a great long Lulu. It is higher. It will make a brand new all-time high before the end of the year. This looks as strong in the market, if not stronger. Very terrific Lulu. I walk by this every day on my way to the gym. Love the Lulu. Have a great night, everyone.